to my channel. If you're new, I'm Callie, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I transformed my tiny little laundry room into the farmhouse style laundry room of my dreams. I'm so excited about the way that it turned out, and I just wanted to share with you guys how we did it. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I think it looks so nice and just updated, and everything has a place, and it just looks a lot better. So if you want to see the before and afters and how we did it, just stay tuned. Also, if you are new, I would love to have you subscribe. I do a lot of cleaning, home decor, motherhood lifestyle content, and if you like that kind of stuff, definitely subscribe because I would love to have you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on this laundry room redo. So here's the before. As you can see, all we had was a basic wire shelf up there, no space for anything. It just lacked a lot of character and decor. So we decided that we were going to put up some shelves and some shiplap. So my husband went to Lowe's and bought all the materials and then we went ahead and got to work. So then we used a level and a tape measure and a chalk line just to draw lines on the wall as to where we were going to put our shiplap. And it is tongue and groove so it fits in together. And my husband is just putting it on the wall with a nail gun. And I love how I'm saying we, like I did all of this. I should say he did it, but it was my grand idea to renovate the laundry room. So I'm going to say we because I feel like I was a part of it. But here he is just putting the shiplap on the wall and that's all he did for this step. Then once it was all up, I took on the task of painting it. The color that I chose was a Benjamin Moore paint called White Dove. I did a lot of research on what color whites look best on shiplap and I kept seeing this one over and over again. So I just went ahead to Lowe's and had them color match it since they don't sell Benjamin Moore paint. And I just went ahead and started painting. I cut in first with a paintbrush and the places that I had to use the paintbrush on took a couple of more coats than the rolled on coats. If I had it to do all over again, I would have just used my paint sprayer and sprayed all of these pieces of wood before we put them up, but that's here nor there, it's over with. But it took a couple of coats to get it to the color that I wanted. And then I also decided to just go ahead and paint the whole laundry room white. I think it just made it look a lot brighter and bigger, as big as you can make one of these little laundry rooms look. But the color before was a sea foam green color. I think the color is actually sea salt from Sherwin Williams. It's the same color that I have in my bedroom and my half bath, but it was nice. But I think that just white, it makes it look a lot bigger and brighter. And I'm really happy that I decided to do that. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm just rolling the shiplap and then I move on to painting the walls. And then after that, we are going to work on the shelves.
is what it's looking like with two coats of paint. I think it looks pretty good. I've decided I'm going to paint, I've already done this down here, I'm gonna paint this white. These walls were like a sea foam green and I think I'm gonna paint them all white too. But I think it looks really good after two coats. That's probably all I'm gonna do on the shiplap part. And then down here, I've gotta do another coat and Excuse me. I got to do it in one coat on here and on this other side. This is where the rack used to hang. That was the shelf that was up here. So got to get that sanded because we had to fill in some holes there. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint it. I got to go and get some more paint. But I'm loving the way that it turned out. Curtis is down in the basement making the shelves. And I think it's going to be really, really cute. I'm excited. Okay, so this is what it looks like after. I am absolutely obsessed. I think it is so beautiful. There's the washer and dryer down there, but I am in love, you guys. I, I just cannot believe this is my laundry room every single time I open these doors. So this is what my laundry room looks like. So there's a door here, and then there's the tiny, tiny laundry room. It's not even a room, like you can't even walk into it. It's just an area. And then there's another door here. I eventually want to do bifold doors so I don't have to swing both these doors open because there is a bathroom door right here and I hate that. But that's another project for another day. But I just wanted to share with you guys what the final product looked like and I'll tell you where I got everything from. So this shiplap we got from Lowe's. It was on sale the day my husband went and got it. He was going to do the shiplap out of plywood and just make it look like shiplap but since it was on sale he just went ahead and bought it and i painted it white and then these shelves are actually plywood they're not like two by fours or four by fours or anything like that so this is just a piece of plywood and then he built a little ledge that goes on the front to kind of conceal that it is plywood and we just stained these with a stain from lowe's I forget what the stain is. I want to say it's like either dark walnut or java bean. I can't remember. I'll link it down below if I can find out what it is. Um, but we just did three of the shelves. And then the shelves are just hung up there with these little brackets that my husband made as well. And then onto the decor. This little R is from TJ Maxx. This little grass thing is from Hobby Lobby. This laundry rules sign, which I think is so funny because it's so true, is from Kirkland's. And then I just have our laundry detergent. This little box, planner box, is from TJ Maxx. I thought that was really pretty and I love just like the pop of green. This little jar, which I keep my um, dryer sheets in, is from Walmart. This laundry really stinks sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then in that trash can, I just put lint from the dryer in as well as dryer sheets that I've already been used from a load. I'll just go ahead and put that in there and then I'll take that out like once a week when it's full. Then these baskets are all from TJ Maxx. I just have like extra bibs for my daughter in this one up here and extra kitchen towels. In this one I have our steam cleaner and then in this last one I just have like OxyClean, bleach, vinegar just for like stain removal. And then the top shelf is basically stuff that we don't use a whole lot. So those are just extra light bulbs for our dining room table. And then I have some paper towels and stuff up there. But I love the way that it turned out. My husband also put in some LED strip lights up here. And they are controlled by this thing. So as soon as you open the door, this is what it looks like when the door is closed and ignore all of the scrape marks up above because we are going to take these doors down eventually. But when you open the door, the light comes on and I just love it. We do have a normal light up above as well, but I love just being able to open the door and the light come on and it just really brightens it up and I am absolutely obsessed with the way that this turned out. I just cannot believe that this is my laundry room. I think it looks so good and I'm so happy with it. And then down here we just have our washer and dryer which are about 20 years old and in the future I do want to upgrade because my washing machine sometimes I have to run the spin cycle twice because I'll open it up and things are still sopping wet. But they work. They're not super energy efficient but they are what they are for right now. But I love the way that this turned out. I hope you guys really like it as well. 
I'm just so happy that we did this. I think it was an amazing choice. It was super fun to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you do, please comment down below if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.